20 years ago, parts of the Midwest were in the midst of historic flooding. We call it the Great Flood of 1993. Massive it was. These green shaded areas were hardest hit, and that was a huge area. The Mississippi River Valley and the Missouri River Valley majored a record flooding in many places. 17 million acres were flooded, and more than 1,000 levees failed or were topped, and that meant floodwaters got into the farmland. A catastrophe for the farmers there. One saving grace was that the Ohio River Valley was in a drought situation, so that didn't add more water into the Mississippi River. So farther down, as you went south, the widening river let the flood conditions not be as bad. It was a persistent weather situation, a lot of warm, moist air flowing very fast and very persistently from the Gulf of Mexico into the central part of the U.S. Major thunderstorm clusters, and many of them dumped tremendous amounts of rain during the summer, and that followed a wet winter, so the ground was saturated, the rivers were running high. There were 35 of these thunderstorm clusters. We call them mesoscale convective systems in June and July that dumped five inches of rain or more. Record rain then covered the Mississippi River Basin. Some places got four feet of rain, and that, that of course had impact. Look at this area, the normal part of the Mississippi River and its tributaries around the St. Louis area swelled to almost lake width, and there was a tremendous amount of water that was flowing down the river there, the Mississippi at St. Louis. Two gallons of water for every resident in the United States per minute. Just unthinkable amounts of water. The river, a record there at St. Louis, almost 20 feet above flood stage, and it stayed above flood stage for 103 consecutive days. St. Louis was not the only location. At Des Moines, the river there flooded the water treatment plant. The city was left without water for up to 19 days. St. Joseph, Missouri and Alton, Illinois also lost their water supplies and in all 75 communities were flooded. At least one community didn't rebuild, they moved the whole community. So this was an impactful flood, one still the worst in many places.